Hi, I'm Pete Rosethal and welcome to the West Real Estate Program, the program that gives you all the best advice on everything to do with real estate. And that advice is given by professionals involved within the industry. We have a half house heat and heat competition that's still on. It's finishing this Tuesday. What you're gonna do is get a copy of a code word out of the West, go to our website, westrealestate.com.au and follow the prompts and you'll be involved. Now here's what the rest of the team are up to this week. On today's show, I visit a real estate agent almost 60 years in the making and discover the secrets behind a magical backyard. It's the details that give your home that designer finish. And today, I look at a product that will ensure your home has real street appeal. Sounds great, my friends. Now here's Dan with Time Conti Sheffield. You might have noticed over the past few decades there's been a shift in the way a business provides a service. When I was a boy, the exchange between staff and customer was of the highest priority. It was often that attention to detail that helped the business stand out, that customer service quality. These days, of course, it's a rarity. And when you find it, it's a wonderful surprise. Well, I've got great news. I've found a business, a real estate agency here in Perth who still values those very principles. Come meet Paul Conti. Paul. Hi Dan. Great to meet you. Um, Paul, your father started Time Conti back in the 50s. Uh, it was structured on some very uh, important values. I mean, why is that such, a, such an important thing? Well, to me, values are really what my client values are. Because you can pontificate about your own values, but really at the end of the day, the client measures your performance by their values. So we set about trying to build up the relationship, know what the client wants and deliver it. So then it becomes a very intimate relationship and it's probably something that then has longevity, I suppose. Oh, that's what's seen us through business for many years. We've been around for a long time and we help our clients overcome those, uh, those difficulties in the market. So I suppose in a sense you can pass on some wisdom. Uh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Is there something you love? I mean, why have you been there so long? Well, whenever people ask me why I'm in business, my father was the first Italian immigrant to start a real estate agency in 1952. And I always say, I'm in the business because of the CEO. Mm. The conditioning, the expectation, and the obligation. But fortunately, I found my niche in business, and that's project marketing, and property management, and I just absolutely love it. Oh, Paul, it's been a pleasure talking. I can see it Thank reflects you. in your work. We'll catch up for more of his staff for Time Conti later in the show. Garden gates and fences are an attractive way to enclose the entrance to your fenced in garden space and add a little curb appeal for your home. And while timber is a popular option, more and more people are realising the benefits of using aluminium, as it gives greater durability, is low maintenance and still creates a feeling of luxury, style and sophistication. And the company who helped transform these front yards is Australian-owned Boardwalk. Boardwalk are the specialists in external and internal shutters, along with aluminium screens and gates. Their stylish range of aluminium products are the perfect solution for Australia's harsh climate, as they have a high resistance to corrosion and weathering, are lightweight yet strong and incredibly long lasting. Their custom made aluminium screens and gates come in various designs and can be used as fencing or provide the perfect screen solution for unsightly pool filters, hot water systems or air conditioners. They can also be powder coated to suit your existing window frames, door frames or general colour schemes. And if you like the timber look, their timeless wood grain finish offers the beauty and elegance of timber with all the qualities and style that aluminium offers. Imagine a stunning timber fence design that won't rot, warp, burn or fade. A fence that's termite proof and doesn't need painting or oiling. This is designed to create the wow factor without the wow price tag and has a lifespan of decades rather than years. Mick Williams is the head of commercial sales for Boardwalk. So Mick, you have a huge range of different products and materials here, but are you finding people are choosing the more durable aluminium for their fences and gates? Yes, Lisa. Um, these days we're all very time poor. Uh, so the last thing we want to be doing on our weekends is painting fences and gates. 
So uh, our aluminium powder coated and timber look products uh, eliminate all of those usual maintenance issues. And your sales team seem to be very knowledgeable. We've got a very knowledgeable sales team and they've all been with us for a long time. They're able to answer all of your queries as well as give impeccable service. And I've noticed your prices are very reasonable, so how do you manage to keep your prices down? The volume of product that we buy uh, gives us a competitive edge and we import some of our uh, specialist items. In fact, they are so confident with their products that they offer some of the best guarantees available and will match any genuine quote received within the last 30 days from a competitor on a comparable product. So you can shop in confidence knowing you're getting the best deal in town. So why not pop into Boardwalk's Bowcatter showroom where not only you'll receive expert advice, but you'll get to see firsthand the finished product that you'll receive in your home. For more information, simply hop on our website and follow the links. Thank you, wonderful Lisa. And after the break, Dan's back with his friends at Time Conti Sheffield. He's in love with them, I swear. It's a beautiful city, isn't it? Now here's Dan with his friends at Time Conti Sheffield again. He loves them. Time Conti Sheffield is a real estate agency here in Perth with a reputation for the finest standard of customer service. Now earlier in the show we had a chat to Paul Conti who's the owner but I reckon it's time to get under the skin a little bit and I'm going to do that with a quick talk to product services specialist Cindy Knight. How are you Cindy? I'm good Dan, how are you? Good to meet you. So how is it that Time Conti Sheffield has separated itself from its competitors? We listen to our clients and we try and deliver what they want. Is there a formula? Like, I mean, what's the, the continuity of its success, uh, I suppose? I think that being uh, open and honest, trying to do things right, doing things right most of the time, but if we make a mistake, owning up to it and being honest about it, not trying to blame someone else. And I think that that enhances our integrity and our reputation and helps us get uh, referral business from our existing clients, which is what we do get. So you found that's a real uh, a value part of the business is to keep that relationship going? Yeah, we want referral business from our existing clients. We're very happy when they refer their friends and family to us, that's what we want. Best form of advertising really, isn't Best it? Best form of advertising and the cheapest. I bet it is. Well thanks for talking to us and we've got two more blokes from Time Conti Sheffield that I'm going to catch up with shortly in the show. Outdoor Entertaining is an Australian institution and the Alfresco is becoming a major drawcard for those in the current housing market. So if you're looking out your yard into an empty or lacklustre space, an outdoor furniture setting from Archipelago Living could be just what it needs to bring it to life. The actual name for this fantastic furniture is UV All Weather Resin Wicker, but in order to avoid this major tongue twister, I'll just call it All Weather Wicker. Archipelago Living here in Osborne Park designs and produces the range, especially for the ever-changing Western Australian weather. Its range includes dining settings, sofa settings and different sun lounges, which are all weather resistant. But what exactly makes it different from the other weatherproof furniture out there? All weather wicker is exactly what it means. Furniture that will keep in all weather, and that's rain, hail or shine. To achieve this, a UV inhibitor is actually baked into the wicker, which means the fibres won't break down when exposed to the sun. It's designed to withstand temperatures ranging from minus 70 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius. All weather wicker is 100% recyclable and non-toxic, and the cushions are UV, chlorine and water resistant. And because the frame is made of aluminium, it won't rust or corrode. Creating beautiful outdoor rooms for entertaining is definitely all the rage at the moment. And the right furniture means you and your guests can relax in comfort. You can select from their extensive range in store and you also have the option of choosing different colour weaves as well as cushions. You can even make the alfresco the star attraction of your home by jazzing it up with scatter cushions, heavy air chairs or maybe down the track an outdoor kitchen. And with all this, your next garden party or Sunday barbecue will never be the same. But don't worry if everyone makes a mess. All weather wicker is super easy to keep clean. The frame can be hosed down or wiped with a clean cloth and the cushion covers can be put in the wash. The furniture is backed by a three year warranty on any peeling, cracking or fading. And there's a two year warranty on the fabric. Archipelago Living is open seven days a week to help you create the outdoor 
or indoor living space you've been dreaming of. So if you think it's time to make alfresco entertaining a valuable part of your home, then check out westrealestate.com.au and follow the links through to All Weather Wicker. Are you thinking about buying a house? Well, you'll need a mortgage and you'll need some professional advice too. That's why I'm catching up with David Devonish from Smartline Personal Mortgage Advisors. Here he is now. Dave. Hi, Dan. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, question on my mind again this week. Other than the major banks, are there other good lenders out there? There's plenty. Um, we, we have over 25 lenders on our approved panel. Hmm. Uh, and, and look, just because your mortgage advisor might recommend a, a name or a lender that you don't particularly know, um, don't be afraid about that because your advisor will have done lots of homework about that lender and their products that are suited to your personal circumstances. Can they offer uh, as good a deals as, say, the bigger banks? Yeah, for sure. I mean, a lot of the sort of non-major lenders, and that's banks, building societies, credit unions, for example, a lot of them argue that because they don't have the large branch network and the cost that goes with that, that, they, that that's a cost saving for them which they can pass on to the consumer. Oh, so less overheads. Absolutely. So is it a good time? I mean, after the GFC and everything, is it a good time for the, the smaller guys, do you think? Well, they're, they're certainly having a, having a real tilt at it. Um, and they're doing that by delivering good service and good products. So, yeah, very, very appropriate timing to be look at a non-major lender. Mate, if they want more info out there, is there somewhere they can go? Sure. Well, give us a call, have a chat to one of our mortgage advisors, get a free health check on your home loan, mm. uh, or to talk about a new loan. Uh, and from there, go to our website, smartline.com.au. Dave, it's been a pleasure. No worries, Dan. Thank you very much Thank for joining will. us over the past few weeks. No problem. After the break, Lisa's going to talk to John Perkadani. He's a wonderful man. We'll see you then. Welcome back. You know, they say I throw rocks like a four-year-old. Let's have a look. Yep. Here's Lisa with John Perkadani. This will be good. I'm chatting with John Perkadani from Realmark and today we're talking about the key questions you should ask when you're buying or selling a house. So John, what's the market doing at the moment? Uh, it's certainly shifting from being a buyer friendly market to a seller friendly market and that trend's certainly continuing very strongly at the moment. Okay, so we'll start with um, selling a house. Right. What three key things should I uh, look out for when choosing a sales agent? Oh, look, I think once upon a time people used to sort of go with the agent that had the best appraised price or the local agent. Yeah. I think now it's a lot more comprehensive than that. I think first of all I would one, uh, ask for a list of, um, of um, sales they've done in that area mm -hmm. and see what their track record's like. Um, secondly, I'd ask for some testimonials around that and some names and numbers so I could so see what the case studies were behind those testimonials. Yep. And thirdly, I think you've really got to focus on the expertise. Um, seek out their expertise around the marketing solutions that they're going to put on the table mm. and also the selling solutions. It's not just enough to go for sale with a price these days. There's, yeah. There are different selling methods and they need to mm. demonstrate that expertise. Yep. It's not just about personality then, you, you need that expertise behind you. Absolutely. Yep. Mm. And what about um, when you're buying a house? How do I stay ahead of the competition? Well, buyers really do have to put themselves ahead of the curve now. So um, as a buyer, I think one, get confidence around you. Do your research before you get into the market so that when you make an offer, you've got that confidence okay. when you see the right property. Um, secondly, I would uh, make sure that your contract is as good as you can make it. Not just on price, but focus on the terms and conditions. Make the deposit as large as you can, mm -hmm. get the settlement uh, date early as possible, yep. and try and keep the terms and conditions as clean as you can make them. And that way you've got a better chance. Okay, well thanks again for your tips. Pleasure. So if you're looking for an advantage, whether you're buying, selling, or renting your property, head to realmark.com.au. A little while ago, when I was first asked to be part of the show, I have to admit, there was a tiny part of me that was secretly wishing that at some point I'd get the privilege to bring you a story about what is without doubt my favourite pastime, gardening. Well, I hope you share my excitement over the next few minutes because my time has finally arrived. This is a story about a man, his business and 30 years of passion. It begins back in 1983 when lover of landscape gardening Tim Davies made the decision to form what would become the recipient of countless awards, Tim Davies Landscaping. Tim's modesty would prevent him from ever telling me about the success of his business, but after doing my homework, can I just say, you're about to meet somewhat of an overachiever. 
After all, he's now at the helm of a practice that employs a team of 60, which includes landscape architects, horticulturalists, designers, and a team of construction staff. Located in Osborne Park, TDL welcomes anyone thinking of building or renovating to come into the design studio and begin the process of creating a garden masterpiece. Shaping this showpiece originates at the desk of an architect. They work with you to create a bespoke landscape that ends up being a complement to your lifestyle and a spectacular first impression. Tim understands the key to success is communication, which has been at the core of this business since its birth. Meeting the needs of the client is first and foremost, and as you can see, the mantra works. So let's waste no more time and have a chat to the man himself. Surely I can learn a thing or two. Hey Tim, this is a good use of a tree. Is that your idea? No, it was, uh, it was originally there and part of the client's brief was to keep the beautiful uh, almond tree. I guess, yeah, there's, um, it's really important to employ a landscape gardener. I mean, what's the difference? Um, I think the importance of a landscape, em employing a landscape architect or a landscape designer is really getting somebody to come and understand uh, the way that you're going to live and uh, use the space. With this property, an integral part of this was to get a beautiful alfresco area leading through to, to an area, a deck where the kids can play and a, and a great grass area and then leading on to this beautiful pool. And what's the actual process with something like this? I mean, take us through it. It all starts with a conversation between our landscape architects and designers with the client to get a, a really clear, concise brief and then what we do is put together a, a concept plan to begin with. Once we've got some feedback on that, we'll then go through and revise that and come up with a final plan, then a firm cost, and then we go into a construction phase. Work together so both you and the client end up, you know, happy customers. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, the service doesn't end there. TDL can provide you with program maintenance, ensuring your landscape looks its grandest and has a healthy future. And just because you don't live in the city, don't think you've missed out because Tim Davies Landscaping has the resources to undertake any size project anywhere in this country. Now for more info go to westrealestate.com.au and follow those links and I recommend checking out his portfolio of completed work. It's beautiful stuff. Thank you Dan. Oh after the break Dan's back again having his last chat with our friends from Time Conti Sheffield. They're having a nice time together those people which is a good thing. See you then. Welcome back. Now throughout the program, I've been talking to Time Conti Sheffield team members in hope of exposing the secret to their success. I reckon I'm in with a chance now because I've met two guys who know this business better than most. Property management experts, Daniel and Noel. Outside a florist, perhaps that's their secret. Guys, how are you? Great, thanks. Great to meet you, mate. Why the florist? Why are we here? I'm the commercial manager and we look after a wide variety of properties from retail to offices to industrial properties. So this is one of our tenants. Oh, what a great spot. And I guess, honest opinion, boys, why Time Conti? What's so great about working for it? Time Conti Sheffield is a family owned and run business. So working for them, you feel like you're an extended member of the family, really. Yeah, we spoke to Paul earlier in the, uh, in the show. He's the owner and he's actually very passionate. It's like a father figure, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. He's been in real estate basically since birth, so for him, real estate is real, really in his blood. So you guys are property management, is that the, the core to your to work here? Yeah, we uh, specialise in property management and uh, we've got a, a good group of senior property managers. We all work very closely together. It's a hard industry to be in, but our main focus on is communication, whether it's with our owners or tenants, and uh, we do that very, very well. Now you probably won't admit this because you're modest guys, but you've got a reputation for being very successful. I mean, what's, what's the secret? I think we're very genuine and open people, so when people talk to us, they feel comfortable and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. they feel at ease. Mm. I reckon it's the flowers too. <laughs> I reckon that's what it is. Great talking to you guys. Yeah, thanks. And thanks very much to Time Conti Sheffield for being part of the program. This is your last reminder of how to get involved in our half house heating competition. It's easy, close to this Tuesday, so listen up. Get a copy of the West. Inside there is a code word. Grab that code word, go to our website, westrealestate.com.au, follow the prompts, and you're involved. Finishes Tuesday, half house, finish Tuesday. Now here's Dan with our wonderful friend, Craig Gemmel from Craig Gemmel Homes. Over the past few months on the show, I've been lucky enough to be joined by Craig Gemmel from Gemmel Homes. We've been talking about the process of building your own home, and he's here again. How are you, Craig? Yeah, great, Dan. Good. Now, this is it. It's finished product, ready to move in. I guess that's where our relationship ends, does it? Actually, Dan, it's only the beginning of our relationship now. Oh, really? Why is that? Every new home comes with a statutory warranty period, so that basically the customer and the builder 
a joint at the hip for six years. Oh right, so is that the, is that the guarantee that you offer from Gemmel Home? We actually take it one step further and we give you an additional 25 years structural guarantee on your home for complete peace of mind. So when you say structural, I mean what does it cover exactly? Well the first step we've got is, is your six month maintenance period where your house basically adjusts itself, you might get a little bit of cornice cracking, things might need tightening up or adjusting, you document all that, let us know and we'll come out and remedy those items for you. Is there somewhere else that you can go? Yes, Dan. What we've introduced is a My Home portal on our website yeah. where all our clients can go there, access warranty information, manual information on every appliance or feature that we've put in your home. And it just makes that step just a little bit more interactive. Mm. And I guess it's also something that's uh, an education process which is going to you know, keep the house in, in longevity, I suppose, keep it maintained and, and functioning properly. Exactly. We want you to enjoy your home for many years to come, Dan. Hey, mate, look, it's been a personal interest of mine over the past few months chatting to you because I, I love the idea of building and the process behind it. So uh, thank you for not only me but the viewers as well. Thank you, Dan. For being here and answering some questions. You're welcome. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Dan. You have dominated today, brother. Well done. And your hair did not miss a beat, my friend. Brilliant. If you'd like to find out about anything in today's program, go to the website, westrealestate.com.au and follow the prompts. Everything's there, past episodes, what's on today's show. It's all there. Just go there. It's fantastic fun. Half house, that'll be there. It's all there. We'll see you next week. Thank you, team. And that's a wrap.